Once I was walking through the park, I had a very bad asthmatic attack. <laughs> These three asthmatics jumped me. Uh, <laughs> I know I should have heard them all hiding, you know. <laughs> so always carry ragweed. <laughs> oh. oh, I found our cat the other day. <laughs> well, I would have found him a week ago, but we have a grass bag on the lawnmower. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Well, I hate to rake, you know. My mom said, Emo, my woman's club is coming over. Mow the lawn. I said, let them graze, you know. <laughs> when I was a little boy, my dad said, Emo, do you believe in the Lord? I said, yes. He said, then stand up and shout hallelujah. So I did, and I fell out of the roller coaster. <laughs> well... He's a kidder. I used to pray every night for a new bicycle. Then I realized the Lord doesn't work that way, so I just stole one and asked him to forgive me. And when I was a little boy, my dad used to spend all day raking the leaves in a big pile. And I'd come out of nowhere, and I'd jump into the pile, and I'd go, woo, woo, woo. And he'd pull me out and brush the flames off. <laughs> I was in bed the other night, and I heard my parents in the next room arguing about me. You know how parents will argue, saying stuff like, oh, I told you he'd live. <laughs> Every time I see Dan Quayle, I, I have an incredible urge to ask him if I can buy a vowel. <laughs> well, I'm mad at the Russians, because I read they're beating us in a race to put a man on Mars, because we're sissies, and we're limiting ourselves with the extra technical burden of bringing the guy back again. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Dukakis doesn't like the Republicans because of the budget deficit. But that's not fair. What is it, 200 billion? What's going to happen? Is Japan going to come over and say, hey, Uncle Sam, we want the money? We'll say, well, we don't have it. <laughs> They'll say, you don't have it. What did you spend the 200 billion on? And we'll say, well, uh, these nuclear warheads. And they'll say, well, we don't need it right away. <laughs> Our country's making nuclear weapons like there's no tomorrow. And I think we have to protect ourselves from the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union is a very weird combination of evil and incompetence, kind of like the post office with tanks. <laughs> Thank you very much for being my friends. Bye-bye.